Africa must be free. Africa needs to be salvaged from the hands of scavengers, from the hands of political bandits. Africa needs to be set free at this time, and heaven is ready to back up any group of persons or persons that will be willing to salvage the nation of Africa or the nations of Africa from the hands of democratic bandits. Democracy is not a good government for the black man. Democracy is not a good system of government for Africa. Let's salvage Africa. Let us set Africa free. Free yourself from yourselves. Presently, what is going on in Africa is something else. A group of bandits came together and called themselves politicians and they are ravaging the continent of Africa. I know these people did not just come on their own. Somebody put them up together at the end of imperialism, at the end of dividing and partitioning of Africa, when they discovered that people were realizing that they have sold themselves to the intruders, to the outsiders, they went back home and organized what they called democracy and they brought it back to Africa to enslave them the more. Democracy is nothing but the imposition of the wills of the elite against the poor. Democracy is a force of the white people, a force of the Western nations to subjugate Africa the more, to take what belongs to Africa using African traitors, using stooges that they will install in the name of democracy, using them to take what belongs to you. When they came in the first time, they came with a Bible and with a God. And when they discovered that the Bible could not get them what they are looking for, they used the guns. They fought the, the, the indigenous of these African nations, took what belonged to them, and ran away. And left some, some stooges behind. Left some imperialist agents behind amongst the people. And they came back with what they call democracy. Democracy is the use of the elites of Africans against the poor masses of those nations of Africa to subjugate them and to enslave them even worse than what they did during the imperialist period. Therefore, Africa, we need to come together. God is on your side and God wants you to do something to salvage yourself and salvage your nations. Matthew chapter 11, I want to read from verse 11. Before I go back to verse 9 and 10, let me read from verse 11. Verily, verily, I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there had not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he that is least in heaven, or he that is least in the kingdom of heaven, is greater than John. Is greater than John. For this reason, John could not do what he was supposed to do. And he, he lost it. He lost it. Who is this John? Verse 9. John the Baptist, in verse 9, but what went ye out for to see? A prophet? Yeah, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. 
And so John the Baptist was a prophet and the Bible describes him as a man that is more than a prophet. Verse 10 says, For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I, who is the I, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. So this is who John was. But because he did not do what he was supposed to do, he preached the word and did not do the do. He did not do what he's supposed to do to salvage his nation from the hands of captives or captivators. And so he died a miserable death. This man died a miserable death. He was killed by politicians. He was killed. And nothing happened. And the Bible described him as being the, the, the in fact, the least in heaven is greater than he. With all that he did, announcing the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because he did not do the right thing. You may be a good person, you may be a good a good a woman, a good man, even a pope, a bishop, a pastor, a prophet, and you didn't do what God sent you to do in this world. You may be missing it. John the Baptist ran away from men that he was supposed to save. He went to the bush and was living in the bush, eating only locust and honey preaching the good news. But at long last, he was killed like, just like that. Verse 12 is where I'm going to really. Africa must be free. Black man must set himself free. Do not call unto your enemies to set you free. You are supposed to set yourself free. Let all of us learn from the likes of Ibrahim Traore, from the life of Thomas Sankara, from the lives of uh, uh, Chiani of Niger Republic. It is high time we do something to salvage our destiny from the hands of marooning politicians, bandit politicians, people who are coming from, from background that is very notorious. Bandits are becoming senators and becoming members of the House of Reps. Bandits are becoming governors and presidents. And what they give birth to is butcher. They continue to butcher human beings in order to stay in power. And who are they serving? They are serving those who made sure that they came into power through what they call democracy. What is democracy? Democracy is the use of the local elites against the poor masses. The use of the local elites against the poor masses. It is not the way it was, it was initially programmed by the forefathers of democracy, saying that democracy is of the people, by the people, and for the people. No. They have thwarted it. They have, they have reversed it as a system whereby the elites of local communities, of nations, will be used against the majority of the masses. And these elites are the smaller or the smallest in number. And they are using them to oppress you. How come that one person can hold a nation of over 200 million people at ransom? Because that person has a backing from outside. Because that person has a backing from within. Few lawyers, few judges can hold everybody to ransom because why? They have backings from somewhere else. And verse 12 of Matthew chapter 11. And God says, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom 
of God, the kingdom of heaven, suffereth violence, and the violent takes it by force. Brother, you are waiting for God to come and do it for you, or you are you are calling on international community that instituted them in the first place to come and help you to salvage you from your enemy. How can your enemy free you from your enemy? How can your enemy free you from himself? I know that God willing, if you take a step, God will back you up. Right from the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence and we cannot continue to live in violence. We cannot continue to live as slaves forever. Look at what happened in the, during the time of Holocaust. What happened to the Jews? They were gathered together in one chamber and they smoked them to death there. God did not come there to save them because in the first place they rejected Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior. They rejected Jesus Christ as their Messiah. And so, even they didn't even call on Jesus. And so, they used that opportunity to smoke them to death. They gassed them to death in Germany. And they are still doing it today in what they call um, um, hatred or hate, uh, hate, hate uh, what do you call it? Hate speeches here and there. Why? Because they know that if you call on your God, God will help you out of that situation. Ibrahim Traore it may not be born again, but he took a step and God is with him because of his nation. He is one of the poorest presidents in the world. He didn't go there to amass wealth, but you, you have, you have supported, you have used yourself against yourself to support the few elites to climb to power in order to destroy you, in order to subjugate you. What are you doing, brother? Sister, what are you doing to save yourself from the collodron of democracy? Democracy is evil. Especially when it applies to Africa because it was not formulated by Africa for Africa in the first place. It was given to Africa by their enemies so that through that democracy that is their own variant, they will use it to take what belongs to you. In as much as you don't want them in your land again, they, they, they put people there and give you a system that will even be more effective than when they were there. I will allow you to see some clips in this telecast so that you will know that people are changing and God is willing. We have to support people like Ibrahim Traore and others who have risen up to the occasion to salvage Africa from the hands of of evil and bandit politicians. Cage them, put them to, to put them in their right places, put fire wherever they run to, put fire there, let them escape. If they won't escape, let them be consumed by the fire, they ignited themselves. As we continue to pray, continue to watch some clips. That will shock you. That will shock you. These clips, I have no right to it. I have no right to the clips that I'm going to show you as you continue to watch this message and watch to the end. You will see a clip that will encourage you that Africa must be free. That Africa will be free one day if we do the right thing. God bless you. I know me well that I always been guarding here. Two, three bag, yeah. But I don't have money again because of the imprisonment. Nobody is happy now because what is happening now is uh, is too much. Especially this food. It's putting money necessary. Too much. Almost every day. Topping five five hundred naira, especially rice. Bado, omo, so ya one, but bon kanto one yet on jadi ya no fi one. Nto fata ni fi one yet. The current situation of things in the country is making life so difficult for Nigerians. As the price of business, but it is most especially.
Charlie, food is going up on a daily basis. There's Charlie a day you get to the market and you don't hear a new price for commodities, most especially food items. Today we are at the popular Bodija market in Ibadan or your state and we are here to know the current situation of things as it has to do with the price of food stuff. So come with me, let's go to the market. Ma. Good evening, Uncle. Yes, ma. Please, ma. What's your name? Ma? My name is Olaleria Minat. How much is it, this particular gari? How much is a, co a Congo of this gari? Now we are selling is nine hundred. Okay. Two weeks ago, how much were you selling a Congo of this particular gari? Five hundred, six hundred. Okay, that means two weeks ago you were selling a Congo of this particular rice for five hundred, six hundred. But now in two weeks it has moved from five hundred. 900 900 like how much is a golo of this like a golo one cup of this gary i thought they are selling it 120 per cup but in this market they are selling it 100 naira so that people can be able to buy if you can't have money for this congo you can buy a golo so you better bring down the price from 120 to 100 so that people can afford it yes wow that's very nice okay yam flour uh, they call it a lubo in yoruba amala how much is a congo of a lubo Per Congo is 1,000 Naira, but we, we are selling it 800 Naira. For the people that they are doing uh, Amala for sale like that, so it's 800 Naira, we are selling it for them. Okay, like two weeks ago, how much were you selling a Congo of Elubo? 700 Naira. Okay, 700 Naira. That means within two weeks, it, it moved from like 700 to... to 1,000 Naira. Two weeks ago, she was selling a Congo of Elubo for how much? 700. For 700 Naira. But now it is being sold for 1,000 Naira. You can see the increase in the space of just two weeks. So, all this increase in the prices of commodities, most especially the ones you sell, how is it affecting your business? Uh, it affects us badly. Because the amount we are using for this business is not even enough again. If we are using 300 Naira for business now, we, you, we need uh, 500,000, 800,000 to do business. Small money is not doing this business again at all. We really need support. We really need help. We need help. So what can you tell the government like to do to help this situation? Ah, government. My own, my own is that government, please help us so because we are really suffering. We are really suffering because if you say you are selling it in large quantity yourself, you won't have money to buy anything that you want. That's why we are even selling our own so that people will be able to buy. But what about others that they don't have money to buy? So please, we are suffering. We traders, we are suffering lots. So you can see that, according to her, the current increase in the price of commodities is affecting her business because she now needs more money to do business. She more money she need... I will bring Gary like... No, me well, that. I always bring Gary here. Hmm. Two, three bag here. But I don't have money again because of the increase. Hmm. So have... you can see that this increase in price of commodity is affecting her business. According to her, before she used to have bags of Gary yeah. everywhere here. But presently she can't get that because she needs more money to buy it and the money is not available. Nigerians are suffering. It's affecting everybody, even the traders. So please, we are calling on the government. Please do something to help us. We are pleading. We are pleading help us. So help. Good evening, sir. Hey, good evening, sir. We want to know the current price of food stuff. How much do they sell a Congo of this particular rice? Okay, so Alhamdulillah, my name is Abdul Hadi Sani. I come from Sokoto. They say one Congo, 2,300. Okay, they sell one Congo of this rice. Yes, now local rice. Okay, local rice. 2,300, yes. Okay. How much should they sell them like two weeks ago? They sell like one, two, one, three. Wait, that means two weeks ago, he was selling this particular rice for 1,300, 1,200. But now he's selling it for 2,300. How about these beans? This beans, how much be a Congo of this beans? 1,900 Naira. How much did they sell on like two weeks ago? This like particular two weeks thing. ago, I did sell it like he, one, 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 two. No, that means two weeks ago, he was selling this rice for 1,200, 1,100. But presently, he's selling this a Congo of these beans for, for 1,900. You can see the increase within just two weeks. So now, foreign rice, yes. I did say one Congo now, 3,200 Naira. Okay, 3,200. So yeah. how much you sell on like two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, like 2,000. 2,200 Naira. Okay, that means 
two weeks ago he was selling a Congo of this rice for 2200 but now presently he's selling it show them show them this rice show them this rice he's selling this a Congo of this rice now for 3200 so you can see the increase in just two weeks in just two weeks it has increased from 2200 to 3200 you can see the increase everything is going up how about that brown beans brown beans show them that brown beans now it's 2000 naira 2000 naira okay 2000 naira okay, yeah how much did they sell them like two weeks ago like two years ago i did sell like one five one three like he won one imagine like two weeks ago he was selling a congo of that beans for 1100 1200 but now he's selling it for 2000 era. so now all this increase how will they affect your business all this increase in price of commodities how will they affect your business so i don't know that you know, i just the manager i don't know this one uh everybody done it's up on the dance course. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, all right. I don't care for long. Buy you any city for three thousand four hundred, three thousand two hundred, three thousand four. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> So ya won gbogbo nkan to won ni e to nja diye na fi won n to fa to yin fi won ni e tori tele tele yi 1005 won tu ba se nta ni e 1005 won tu bo si 3 plus le yin si lato ko gan won tin ta 3 plus e lo la fe ta loja ka to wo ko ka to ra lai lo nko to n to ma fo ma fo nbe ba se nta ni e o e yo kan si lati oyibi bayi o ti o ti din ni o ti le 100 naira ba o ti le 100 naira tele tele 30 naira 20 naira ni bon si o ti le 100 naira bye so right now according to her she said that a crate of egg presently is is selling for three thousand four hundred and now two weeks ago she was selling it for three thousand naira. that means in the space of two weeks a crate of egg has moved from three thousand naira to three thousand four hundred and one egg is presently sold for hundred naira and this is this increase in the price of egg is seriously affecting her business they good evening sir good evening yes sir please sir we just want to know the current price of all this food item how much is a congo of of beans so i have uh, do a congo of beans three thousand naira two five okay how about this particular one, one now uh, like okay this particular okay one. this particular one now is a uh, is a uh, two thousand five jale last 2000. price okay two thousand five hundred yeah. yeah so how much would they sell a congo of these beans last week like last two weeks how much did they sell them? We're selling it 2002 to one. You see, that means within two weeks, it moved from 2002 to 2003. Yeah. Okay, how about this rice? How much be a Congo of this rice? So, rice for one is a uh, depend on one Nigeria one. I have I have a uh, short. Okay, this the, particular, this particular one, one yes. is 2008. 2800. Yes. How much you sell them like Nigeria. two weeks ago? Two weeks ago is 2000, 2003. Okay, two, three. This particular rice is 2300 like last two weeks, but now it is sold for 2800. How about this one? So, this one is uh, almost the same thing for us. Okay, uh, 2002. 2200. Yes, like last two weeks. Uh -huh. well, how much yes. do they sell them now? Yes, now it's 2007. 2007. Jale, jale. Rice price. So 2007. Yes. That means this particular rice two weeks ago he was selling it for 2300. But presently,
Italy is selling it for 2700 So, how about this one? That one? Okay, this this one is 3000 Okay, 3000 yeah. How much was selling like two weeks ago? 2005 Okay, 2005 That means three weeks, two weeks ago, he was selling it for 2500 But now, it is now 3000 What of cup? Like a cup, a golo of these beans? Is that much? Agro beans. Agro beans. This particular one now nah, is uh, selling it before 220. Okay, 220. Like one cup of these beans, you were selling it before 220. How much? That. How much did they sell them now? Now. Now it's 300, 280. Okay, 300, 280. You can see how fast all these things are going. So how about this particular rice? How much be agolo? One agolo, one cup of this yeah. rice. Okay, 50, 270. Depend. Okay, how much? Did they sell them like two weeks ago? 222 that's you see he was selling a cup of this right 220 before but presently he's selling it for 280 280 a cup of rice 280 wow so how all this increase in the price of all these things how will they affect your sales how will they affect your market i mean i don't know what i just i'm very confused i don't know i don't know what is going on because it's affect almost every every businessman it's no easy he will buy something like this if you, you if you go um, if you want to buy it and go there okay, you top almost three thousand four thousand each bag so it's very 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 it's problem nobody is happy now because what is happening now is uh, it's too much especially this food is putting money necessary too much almost every day topping Five five hundred naira, especially rice. Rice in a bag of rice now is Nigeria rice before forty thousand thousand something last year, but this year, this year just top almost twenty thousand naira, thirty two thousand naira for a one. Nigeria one twenty five thousand this year. It never starts. You just February now we day. Now bag of rice now for a one is eighty five thousand. Then Nigeria one sixty thousand sixty five thousand. So all those things, you know, I don't know what to do. So according to him, according to him, you can see that this current increase in price of food and commodities is affecting him because it's affecting his business and he's not getting much sales. So you can see that almost everybody is suffering from this, from this, and we are calling on the authorities to do something to help us, to help us Nigerian. So thank you so much, sir. So here today we just got here and we want to know the price price of granite oil that's vegetable oil and that of red oil so according to her she's selling a bottle of vegetable oil for 1300 but two weeks ago she was selling it for one one that means within the space of two weeks it has moved from one one to 1300 so and for red oil according to her there is no much increase as the price of red oil is stable two weeks ago she was selling it 800 and presently she's still selling it 800 so so as it has to do with price of red oil, there is no increase in stable, but that of vegetable oil has moved from one one and is currently selling for one thousand three hundred. So guys, we have gone to the market to check out the prices of food currently in the market. And now you can see that in, the, in just the space of two weeks, the price of so many food items are increasing. On a daily basis, the price keeps increasing. And according to what you just heard from them, they've told us that the increase in these prices is affecting their business. As the amount they used previously to get food items is no longer enough. Presently, they need more money to be able to stock up their stores. So we are calling on the appropriate authorities to please do something to help this situation because nigerians are suffering it is affecting everybody affecting businesses so we are calling on the appropriate authorities to do something to help in this issue thank you very much for watching to this extent please help us to share this video so that we can get more people to watch it thank you so much and also don't forget to let us know the current situation of things in your area please drop it in the comment section how is the current situation affecting you please let us know in the comment section